All right, so the Boston Bruins have made a big splash early on on trade deadline day here as they've acquired Taylor Hall and Curtis Lazar from the Buffalo Sabres in exchange for a 2021 second round pick. And also, let's see here, Anders Bjork goes to Buffalo as well. Bjork's a guy who I think has more offensive upside than he's shown so far in his career if given the right opportunity. I don't know if he was ever a Bruce Cassidy favorite, so to speak. But maybe now he'll get a chance under Tony Granato in Buffalo to really show what he can do. As for Taylor Hall, though, two goals on the year. I mean, Buffalo, they end up selling a lot lower on him than they probably would have liked to have sold on him. A first-round pick plus kind of was the going rate for Taylor Hall. Obviously, they didn't end up getting that. They end up also giving up Curtis Lazar in the deal. As for Curtis Lazar, I mean, he's not, he's obviously a bit of a bust. We know that Ottawa took him back in the first round 2013. He never panned out there. He had a brief stint in Calgary, never panned out there. Went to Buffalo, played okay there, didn't really pan out though. Now he's off to Boston. Maybe he'll be a good fit there. He's a more of an energy fourth line type of guy at this point in his career. Taylor Hall brought in to score. The Bruins have lots of injuries and, you know, a lot of guys in the whole COVID protocol and stuff like that this year. So having Taylor Hall on their roster should help them going forward. But let's hope they can avoid, for their sakes anyways, the Taylor Hall curse, the so-called Taylor Hall curse where every team he goes on just kind of, you know, falls to nothingness and they don't really do a whole lot with him on the team. They should add some more scoring for sure. And on that second line, Boston could really use some scoring in their top six. I mean, other than that first line with, you know, the, the, the big three, Marshawn, Bergeron, Pasternak, after that it gets a little sparse as far as their scoring is concerned, so Taylor Hall should really help them as Boston is looking to make a push here to not only secure a playoff spot but go on a run. And for the Bruins, I mean, I think their window might kind of be starting to close now, and they got pounded 8-1 by Washington last night. It's not closing because they lost 8-1 to Washington. It's just because their guys are getting really old now. They've looked pretty mediocre this year. Yes, I know they've had lots of injuries, and, you know, a lot of guys in the COVID protocol, like I said earlier, and I believe Halak's in the protocol right now. I believe Rask is injured. So having both of your regular goalies out is not going to be good for any team, even the team as good as Boston. But Taylor Hall, like I said, he should be able to help his team. Lazar adds some extra depth. Anders Bjork, you know, he's going to get an opportunity in Buffalo. They're still kind of on the mend. They're still kind of rebuilding all these years later. And they only get a second round pick in 2021. And he knew no one was going to really pay a first for the year Taylor Hall's been having this year. But the bright spot for Buffalo is... At least you didn't trade for him and give up a lot yourselves. You signed him as a free agent to a one-year, $8 million deal. Now he's off your hands. You don't got to worry about him anymore. You get a second-round pick. Who knows? That could turn out to be a pretty good player in the future. Maybe Andrews Bjork turns out to be a pretty good player. But let me know all that and more in the comments down below. Please like and subscribe and share this video. And trade deadline is heating up today. So thank you so much for watching, all of you. And I'll see you again very shortly, I'm sure.